it's uh, a little blurry. There's my crew. There you are, you're a little blurry. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, what's today, happy Friday? Wait, no, Monday. <laughs> it's the Wednesday. 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 It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. All right, so we got a lot of fun stuff we got to get through today. So today, like I always say on Wednesdays, we go a little bit longer than 30 minutes. If you can't stay, I'd love to have you. If you can't stay, completely understand. We have a big warm up. We got a lot of mobility work we're going to get through. We got a uh, we got about three rounds of some strength stuff, and then finally we got a finisher. So we're going to get rolling. There's body weight options for everything. All right. So we're going to get warmed up first. We're going to start with a quad stretch. We're going to go 20 seconds on each side. Quad stretch. We got to take a second to reset. It's nice and early. I know. Try to keep that knee nice and close. Keep that chest up. Good. Shake it out. Switch when you're ready. Again, try to hold anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds on each side. Whew. You know, I turned this light on and it's throwing off my funk. So I'm going to turn the light off. Keep stretching those quads. Good. Do another round, about 10 seconds on each side. Same thing, we're going to go nice and close. Nice and close. Good stretches. Keep that chest up. Keep it nice and close to your other knee. Good. After that, we are going to go into a cook squat. We're only into the bottom of the cook squat, all right? So I want you to go down, touch your toes, sit into it, and then back up. Stretch out those hamstrings. Ooh, hamstrings are tight today. I'm gonna do about five of these. One more. Do me a favor, guys. Mute those mics if you haven't yet. I know I kind of just jumped right into it. Good. All right. After that, we're going to go chest up. We're going to go body weight lunges. We're going to do 10 on each side. All right. We're going one, 10 on each side. Good. Switch legs when you're ready. Lean back into those lunges, guys. Good. When you're up, you're good. We're going to go, just like we would normally do in a strength, we're going to go 20 toe touches. All right? Slight bend at the knee. Shoot the hips back. Touch the toes, squeeze the butt at the top. All right, we're gonna do 20 toe touches. Make sure you are really squeezing that butt at the top. Good squeezes, guys. Bring those hips all the way through. Keeping that chest up. Make sure you feel it's all in the glutes, hamstrings. Good. Once you are done with those, David, do me a favor, mute that mic for me, please. Thank you. We are going to grab the opposite side of our head, right around our ear. We're going to do about a 20-second neck stretch. All right? You, want to stay. you don't want to yank it. You don't want to jerk it. You just want to give it a good hold. Stretch out that neck. Good. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Hold it. Look straight ahead. Remember, you're not trying to pull to the point where you're in pain. Give it a little bit of a pull. Hold it. Put the spot on the wall. Don't take your eyes off it. Good. Let's go back to the other side. We're going to go a little lower on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it up. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Let's do neck rolls to the right. Neck roll to the right. Keep that core braced too, guys. You don't want to be leaning on these. Get nice and tall. Do about three more on this side. Then we're switching light, switching sides, switch sides. Get that good stretch. I don't know about you guys, but these feel great in the morning. Good. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna get those up. Woo! All right. This we haven't done yet, guys. It's a kind of a little funky at first, but you'll get in the groove of it. It's gonna work that hip flexor. Gonna work your glute. We're gonna go a leg swing. Okay. So we're gonna go up, touch toe, back down. Leg swings. Just get in that groove. All right, what you can also do if this isn't feeling good for you, go down, stiff leg, touch the hamstrings, all right? Leg swing, ideal. You can start back at the bottom like this and shoot up, touch them back. Good, nice Sherry. David, those are good. Let's switch legs. I reset down here, that's another one you can do. We're gonna do about five more. Last but not least, I want everyone to get in a plank position. Plank position. You are going to hold a solid plank. I want you to squeeze the bejesus out of everything. Down into a plank, baby. Let's go, let's go. Give it a good hold. Squeeze your butt. Wake up that core. We got a lot of rocking and rolling this morning. Good holds, guys, good holds. 10 more seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, bring it up, bring it up. All right, guys, here's the plan of attack. Today, three rounds, three, four rounds. Uh, the six exercises we gotta get through. We have, the first round, we are going to go a single arm floor press. Okay, so if you can't do a single arm floor press at home, you can do a band press or you can do a regular kettlebell. If your kettlebell is heavy one, you can't do a single arm press, just go regular kettlebell squeeze presses. If your kettlebell is, or dumbbell is a little bit lighter at home, you're gonna lie down on the ground. You're gonna brace that core, squeeze your butt. We're gonna go single arm floor press. All right, same with the dumbbell. Brace my core. Presses. We're gonna go eight on each side. All right, if I have a heavy kettlebell, I'm gonna go 10 squeeze presses, okay? After that, we're gonna go flip over, put the weights to the side. I want a two, two tempo here. Slow motion, ghost rows, all right? One, two, one, two, especially on the way down. All right, so we got our floor press. We got our um, ghost rows. We're gonna go eight on each side. If you're doing a double press, you're doing uh, 10, all right? So grab a band, grab a kettlebell, grab a dumbbell, whatever you got. I'm just gonna try to adjust this weight up a little. Oh, I can do that, perfect. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, guys, we're going down, there we go. Going down for a single arm press, eight on each side. At your own pace here, guys, there will be no timer. We're going eight on each side, all right? Ready, set, go. Make sure you know your reps, eight on each side. Make sure you keep this weight under control on the way down. One thing I like to do too, guys, is you can have both hands in the air, but you're pressing with one weight. It's gonna help you get that squeeze of those pecs a little bit more too. Once you're done with those reps, you're putting that weight to the side, you're flipping over, and you are going to a ghost row tempo, eight on each side. The tempo is two seconds up, two seconds down. The rep scheme we're looking for is anywhere from six to eight on each side. Staff, those are perfect. Nice, David's flipping right over. 
Make sure we're nice and controlled, especially on the way down. If you get six on each side, that's five. Ideally, we want to get eight. If you can't, that is okay. Don't let those hips turn. Squeeze the butt. Where are we at? Where are we at? Crystal, those are perfect. Good, guys. Once you're done with your eight on each side, you're up. You're getting ready. We're going to the next round. Something I want to show you guys too, when you guys are done with your ghost rows, I'll show everyone, is a single arm floor, a single floor press. What I'll do sometimes is I'm here, I have my kettlebell. I'm going to go, other arm is coming up with me. But the weight is on one side. You're going to get a lot more squeeze of the pecs there. Like you were doing a glute press or a regular dumbbell press. Just where we're getting a little bit more core. All right, so we're going down, eight on each side. We got round number two coming up. Get ready. Grab your kettlebell, grab your weight, whatever you got. Try that little floor technique I was showing you with the two arms. We're going single arm presses, ready? Whenever you're ready, set, go. Eight on each side. Focus on that squeeze of the pecs at the top. That other arm is staying in line with the weighted arm. Good. Love these presses, guys. Everyone got good presses. It's a press kind of morning, baby. Good. Switch it over when you're ready. We are going to go in for a ghost row. Guys, if you did six or seven last time, try to up the reps, all right? If you, if you were on your knees, you started to feel your back, you can switch to your feet. We're going ghost rows. Good, guys. your core. Don't let those hips turn. Woo! Those are tough. The slower you go, the better off you are, guys. The slower you go, the better off you are. Shake those arms out. We're going to go back to our single arm presses, our band presses, kettlebell presses, whatever we got in about 10 seconds. At your own pace, switch at your own pace. This is round number three. Just be on top of your reps. I'm gonna go a glute press with my glute press crew. All right, ready, set, let's roll. If you're still on round two, that's completely cool. Focus on you, focus on your counts. Guys, remember, make sure we're focused on squeezing those, those pecs together at the top, even if you're single arm. Squeezing your butt through the entire rep Big belly breath. Fill up that core at the bottom with air and then breathe to the top. Once you are done, you know your drill. You're switching over. Try to push yourself in this round number three, guys. If you're ghost rowing, go a little slower. If you feel like your hips are turning, try to squeeze your butt a little bit more. Go a little bit wider on your feet. Feet should be a little bit wider than push-up position, or a little, yeah, a little bit wider than a push-up position. And we're under control. Minimal rotation is the goal. Morning, Jen Ferguson. Nice, loving these ghost rows, guys. Good, Steph, those are perfect, great tempo. Both steps. Melissa Decker, good. Make sure we're going slow on the way down too, guys. Fantastic. Woo! Hell yeah. We look great. We look great. Once you are done, you are up. 
Shake those arms out. A lot of arms in the second half. This is our round number four. We are going to go back to our single arm press or our glute press or our band press. How are these feeling? Everyone's feeling good? Did that single arm, anyone try that single arm thing yet where they're squeezing the pecs together at the top? It's a good cue to really get those pecs squeezed together. All right, single arm crew, we're going down, we're going down. Well, my whole crew, whole crew, brace your core. Ready, set, go. And again, if you're on round three still, that is completely okay. You do you. Squeeze the pecs down, nice and controlled. Squeeze the pecs down, nice and controlled. Keep a straight wrist too, guys. You don't want a broken wrist. Broken wrist is a broken bench. So make sure that wrist is nice and straight. Meaning you don't want to be leaning that wrist back. You want a strong wrist. Squeeze the life out of that dumbbell or that kettlebell. Whenever you're ready, you're switching over to that ghost, that dreaded ghost row. Let's roll on your own count. You know your count. You know your rep scheme. Right here, guys. A little slower on the way down, guys. Make sure we're going slow on the way down, too. Keep that hand straight like you're doing a push-up and you're literally raising your hand. Perfect, guys. Sarah looks good. I'm loving it, guys. Nice and controlled. You can go from your feet and still keep a good tempo. And do eight on each side, and it's going to burn. Oh, it's going to burn, baby. done, you can grab a quick rinse of water. We're at 846. Good. We got our second half coming up and I'm pretty excited about this second half. How we feel? Another first half feel? Chest feels good. We're not good. Loving it. We're slowing it down a little on Wednesdays. We always do. That's how we roll on Wednesdays. Um, we're going to focus on reps. We're going to focus on form. I know the weight might not be as heavy, so it might not be as challenging as it could be, um, but really just try to focus on that form. Make sure you know maybe try to squat a little bit lower. Second half or second part, we're going to grab a kettlebell or body weight forward to a reverse lunge. First modification could be a forward pause, reverse lunge, all right? This doesn't have to be weighted. It can be weighted if you want it to be. Um, maybe do one round of body weight then add in some weight, all right? So we're gonna go forward to reverse lunge, eight on each side, all right? Eight on each side, anywhere from five to eight, depending on the weight of your kettlebell, all right? And if you have a dumbbell at home, you're going to go single arm curl to press, all right? Single arm curl to press. If you have a kettlebell at home only, you're going to do a kettlebell clean to press, all right? Kettlebell clean to press. All right? So we're going to go forward to reverse lunges. Like I said, you can start off body weight, get loose, get in that form, get in that groove, then we'll add a little bit of weight. All right? We're going to work in five, four, three, two, one, anywhere from five to eight, guys. All right? I try to keep my arms up like I'm doing this with a double rack. I think it just keeps everything Nice and in line. Squeeze that butt at the top. Lean back into that lunge. Focus on that form. Switch legs whenever you're ready. Chest is up. I got my two hypothetical kettlebells racked up here. I'm lunging. Squeeze that butt at the top. These are tough. Good. 
the bunch of guys. Woo! Holy smokes. Quads of steel. When you're ready, you're grabbing your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Single arm curl to press or single or kettlebell clean to press. All right? Or you could actually do a, depending on your heavy kettlebell at home, you could do a single arm clean to press. All right? If you have no weight at home, I want you to grab a band and start busting out some band curls. All right? Ready? Set. How many? What's up? How many? Oh, eight on each side. Ready? Set. Go. The clean to press is 16 or 8? 16. We'll call it 10 to 16. Get your reps in. Everyone's got a little bit of a different weight, so these exercises are kind of tough. So you got to kind of find what works for you. If you can do 12 and you're like, damn, that feels good, stick with 12. Good. Make sure we're bracing that core, guys, and squeezing that dumbbell. Switch arms whenever you're ready. Marissa, I like that. Make sure you're keeping the press nice and strict for as long as you can. Keeping that strong wrist I was talking about. All right, guys. Woo! Those are tough. Those are tough, especially if you get in the groove. I like it, I like it. All right, you know the drill. Maybe grab a little weight this time. If you gotta lower the reps, that's fine. Let's shoot from anywhere to six to eight on each side. We're going forward to reverse lunge, all right? Grab your weight whenever you're ready. We're starting round two whenever you're ready. I'm going in three, two, one, we're moving. It's all right to go a little bit lower in reps now, guys, if you're adding weight. That's completely fine. Make sure you're focusing on that form. Try to get that knee as close to the ground as possible. Squeeze your butt, lean back. Good. Jerry, those are great. Very good guys, very, very good. Make sure we're leaning back into those lunges. Lighting looks a little weird in here today. Good. Nice, Marissa. Those look good. Sherry, those look awesome. All right guys, whenever you are ready, Moving on, if you're sticking to your, you got your single arm curl to press, clean to press, whatever you got, I'm gonna go single arm clean to press, let's roll. Reset every time. Focus on that form. If you're cleaning, make sure you're zipping up your coat. Keep it nice and close by. If you give me a dumbbell curl, make sure you're not leaning to one side. Stay nice and tall. out strong guys get those last few reps in Sherry those are great remember guys too if your weight is a little bit lighter at home or a little bit heavier don't be afraid to fluctuate the reps this is really good practice you know now we don't know what's going on so you know you want to be able to be at home 
and be able to gauge out a weight and a rep scheme for yourself. So kind of fiddle around with that on mornings like this too. All right, how are we feeling so far? Halfway through, we got the forward to reverse lunges. All right, anywhere from six to eight on each side, and then your version of a press, whether that's the curl to press, the clean to press, the single arm clean to press, all right? Whatever you got, we got round number three coming up. All right, we're gonna go to work in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, I wanna see everyone's form here. Good form, good form. Lean back into those lunges, squeeze your butt at the top. Chris Lloyd, those look perfect. Good, Bonnie, I'm loving those. Let me see, nice. Bonnie, that was your best one yet. Nice. Make sure, guys, it's okay to take that quick break in the middle and re reset, all right? Stay nice and tall. Try to keep that weight under control. Good, I'm loving these guys. Nice, Diana. Diana's busting them out here, I like it. Good, remember guys, if your body weight, try to up those reps a little bit. If you got a heavy kettlebell at home, it's okay to lower those reps. If you did six on each side, but you got a fucking 45 pound heavy kettlebell at home, that's fine. I'll give you kudos on that one. Make sure we're getting that nice and low. Tony, those look good. Good pace, brother, good pace. Sherry, those look awesome. Crystal, I'm loving it. Oh, I threw you off. I threw you off. Ignore me. Ignore me. Good. When you are done with your lunges, you know the drill. You know the drill. You are going curl to press. Curl to press. Clean to press. Whatever you've got. No rush. we got still some people doing their lunges. Take a deep breath. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Reset. Regroup. Refocus. All right? Make sure, guys, too, you are squeezing your butt all the way through on that press. That's going to help you not lean back, and it's going to help you engage the core so you don't end up pressing like this. All right? Let's go to work. we got to go to work. What do we have for time? we got one more round. Like I said, guys, these ones always tend to go over a little bit. So if you can stick around, I love you. If you can't, I still love you. we only got one more box to get through today because I knew these ones were going to take a little bit longer. But this is round three right here. Or this is round three. We're still in the middle of round three. Nice. Crystal, when you're curling, try to keep it in front of you like you're zipping up a coat. There we go. Zipping up the coat. And then press straight up. Good. Nice, guys. So I'm here. If you're struggling with the clean to press, I'm here. Zip up the coat. Reset. Press. Melissa well, Decker, those look perfect. Good curls. Nice strict curls, guys. When you are done, grab a quick rinse. Take a second, focus on that breath. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. We have one more round, guys. One more round. Then we got one more box. Then I'm getting you guys out of here. All right? Steph, those look awesome. One more round, baby. Woo! David, how are we feeling? Love it. I can't wait till one day I can talk to you guys and the only reaction I don't get is a thumbs up. But no, it's not you. It's I tell everyone to mute, so all you can give me is a thumbs up. But one day we'll be able to conversate and it'll be beautiful. All right. We're going back to work. Last round, best round. Focus on form. You got to dump that weight to focus on your form. That's okay. Up the reps. We're going to go to work in five Four, three, two, one. Let's roll. Forward, pause, reverse. Or forward, right to a reverse. All right? That's a little bit more of an advanced technique, guys. If you feel like your form's going to break down when you're doing it, don't do it. Cherie's doing something awesome there as a touch and go, a little bit of a toe tap, and then right into it. That's awesome, Cherie. Love it. Take the step, pause right into that lunge. I even struggle with that motion sometimes. It's very, very tough motion. I would say that and a single leg deadlift are probably the hardest things to do. Good. Steph, those look awesome. Well, again, both Stephs. Gold stars on both Stephs for the day. Diana and Bonnie, those look great. 
My body weight crew, Diane is doing something really cool. She's got her arms up in the air. That's gonna force you to sit back a little bit more. That'll help you open up that chest, keep that proud posture. Just find what works for you. That's what these days are all about. Nice. When you're ready, you're switching over. You got one more round. Try to get one more round rep than you got last time. That's the goal, all right? One more rep than you got last time. So if you did single arm, eight on each side, shoot for nine on each side. If you did regular, you know, you did 12 of them, let's try to get 13, all right? I'm going kettlebell clean to press, all right? Let's roll, ready, set, let's go. You don't have to go when I say ready, set, go. That's kind of just my default thing I say. guys. Good reps. Get that head all the way through the window. Solidify the end of that press. It's going to help you work on your shoulder mobility too. Woo! When you are done, you grab a quick rinse. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. You know, I always keep track of my watch too. And I find that on these strength days, the calories are basically the same. I don't know about the Mizones. I haven't looked back at the Mizones, but I know the MEPs aren't as high, but I always wonder if like the MEPs, or the, I mean the red zones aren't as high, but I always wonder if the MEPs and the calories are the same. That'd be interesting. All right, last but not least, we have a little bit of legs and a little bit of core, all right? So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna do eight reps. Here's what I want. And I'm gonna, I, I kinda hit the fact, but it's core and push-up. So we're gonna do one, two, push-up. That's one, you're gonna do eight of them, all right? It could be quick, it could be slow, it could be controlled, but it is a double mountain climber to a push-up, all right? After that, we are gonna come up, you're gonna go down. I want you to really focus on form here, guys. Squat hops. I want you to squat low, jump high. Treat it like a sky hop, one rep at a time. We don't want to be finishing here, all right? Sometimes you kind of divvy away from the squat part of it. I want you to take it one rep at a time and give me six to eight good squat hops, all right? Really focus on getting low and explode, all right? Squat low, jump high. All right, we got four rounds, mountain, double mountain climber to push up and sky hops, all right? Let's go to work. Ready, set, go. It doesn't have to be fast, too. It can be knee, knee, push up. I have really just taken a beating on the upper body this morning. You might not even realize it, but you've done a single arm floor press, a curl to an overhead press, a ghost row, and now a push up. And you're like, I definitely realize it, you ass. When you're up, focus on those. Remember guys, keep the push up under control and then the right to those squat hops whenever you're ready. Squat low, jump high, one rep at a time. I want those knees at 90 degrees. Get those knees at 90 degrees. Step, those are perfect. Good guys. Diana, bonus points if your head goes right through your ceiling. You got some air. You got some air. Good. Whenever you're ready, guys, we're going into round two. Whenever you're ready, you know the drill. One, two, push up. We're shooting for nine. Shooting for nine. All right? It can be quick. It can be slow. We're shooting for nine reps. What you can do if you need push up on the knee, you can go one, two, push up on the knee. All right? Ready? Set. Go. Let me see these Sher Sherritos look awesome. Sherry's been busting out push-ups all day. I love it. David, those look perfect. Good. David's got himself in a groove right here. I like it. Once you are done, guys, you're coming up. 
Take a second if you have to. Focus on that form on those squat ups. We're up. I'm going to go down nice and low, then explode. Reset. Down nice and low, explode, reset. see some good ones. Nice. All right, guys, round number three. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Round number three. Round number three. Push-ups. Anywhere from eight to ten this time. If you get ten, sick. If you get eight, sick. All right? And then we got those hops. All right? Ready, set, go. We did a lot of very controlled strength with our lunges. Um, and now we're gonna do a little bit more explosive strength too with our, um, with our uh, squat hops. Same thing with the first half, we did a very good controlled floor press. This is our technically our quote unquote drop set after our floor press and our overhead press. We got whatever is left in the tank, we're just taking it and we're, we're, we're slamming on the gas here this morning. Good, you're going right into those eight squat hops, eight to 10. Focus on depth, one rep at a time. It is treated like eight singles, okay? It's eight sets of one rep. So I'm here, I'm going low, exploded, reset. Going down, explode, reset. Eight singles, good. Land with soft knees too, guys. It's okay to give a little. There we go. Good. Nice step, try to get a little bit lower. Hell yeah. These should feel a little bit different, guys. A lot of hip strength, too. If you start from dead stop, get low and explode, you're working through that hip's full range of motion. All right, grab a quick rinse. We got one more round, one more round. Last round, best round, right? Last round, best round. Focus on form. Your body is getting tired now. The form wants to break down. Make sure the knees are nice and tucked. Make sure the push-ups are all the way to the chest to the floor. If you have to go. Guys, for my people who are on their knees, here's what I want you to try. I want you to go down on your chest, up on your knees, all right? We're going to work whenever you're ready. Let's roll. Smokes. Pull and triceps. Anyone with chest or triceps or shoulders are sore after this one, let me know. Two days from now, you're going to be like, whoa. That's why we did that good neck stretch this morning. Big fan of the neck stretch. All right, guys, you know the drill. Squat hops whenever you're ready. Down, explode. You're a piston, you're firing off. Woo! Air, air map, air map. Woo! All right guys, here's the drill. We are done. What's gonna happen though, is I'm gonna run through that warm up again minus the plank. And I might change, I might change the lunges to an open book, and I might change the plank to a prayer stretch. You're more than welcome to stick around. You got a jet, you got a jet, all right? We're gonna go right back into our stretches. If you wanna hang out, hang out. If not, I'll see you on Facebook Live, hopefully. If not, I'll see you at 8.30 with Diane, hopefully. If not, I'll see you when I see you. There it is, Daria. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go right into my quad stretch. Quad stretch, baby. Bring that heel to your butt. Keep that knee nice and close. Pick a spot on the floor and don't take your eyes off it. Good. Rich, see you later, brother. 
Bring that knee nice and close to your other knee. You don't want to be out here. Bring it nice and close. It's a little bit easier to do now, too. All right. Now we're going to go cook squat. Just working the bottom. Stretching up those hips. Try to sit down here for a second or two. Let those hips stretch. Then stretch up those hammies. This is when your muscles are the warmest, too, guys. So we want to get stretched where we can. I think it's only fitting on a strength day. We're going to do about five, six of these, all right? Only fitting on a strength day that we finish with a little bit of mobility. Mobility, ability. Who we got there? Caitlin, is that Caitlin Chalice jumping in? Oh, no, it's uh, Kristen Hurley. In this, I saw the KC. All right, we are going to go into our prayer stretch. Prayer stretch, or not our prayer stretch, our open books, I'm sorry. One back flat, one knee is up. Hands together, keep your eye on your hand. Keep your eye on your hand. We'll do about five, six on each side. Switch it up whenever you're ready. Make sure that leg that is up in the air is at a 90 degree angle. Oh, this side. It's crazy. I can't even get to the floor on this side. Oh, God, goodness. My body's a hot imbalance in this. Whenever you're ready, we're coming up. We are going to do a little bit of a toe touch here, guys. We'll only do about 10 reps. Really focus on driving those hips towards the back wall. Give it a good stretch. We're going down. Give it a little hold. And then bring it up and squeeze at the top. Hips back. Hold. Squeeze at the top. Stretch up those hamstrings. That chest up. Good guy. Loving these. Loving this cool down session. I want to like get on a treadmill with all you guys and you know just talk. Everyone drank their treadmills into the living room. I know everyone's got one. It's like a coat rack somewhere. I have one in my house and I, yeah, I've never used it. Alright. We're gonna go back to our neck stretch. Back to our neck stretch. All right, we're gonna pick a side, grab the opposite ear, little bit of a pull, little bit of a pull. You don't wanna yank it. Just give, find that stretch and hold. About 15 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, switch it over. Another side, five, four, three, two. Actually, I'm sorry, I started counting right away. Hold for about five more seconds. I'm delirious. I didn't go to sleep till late last night. I'm surprised I haven't screwed up yet. Three, two, one. We'll do it the other side again. About five seconds on each side. Now I can count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll go neck rolls to the right. Neck rolls to the right. I don't know about you guys, but neck rolls for me feel like the, the, the least fluid thing in the world, which tells me I have a lot of work to do. Switch directions. where we start though. Think about every little bit of motion. Think about all the muscles you're working. All right, good. Shake it out. Last but not least, we're gonna go to my favorite, the prayer stretch. Good lat stretch right here, guys. You're gonna sit back into those hips. 
You're going to go straight down. You're going to walk to your favorite side. And you're going to hold. Hold for about 20 seconds. Try to feel that stretch in the lat. Keep that chin tucked. You don't want that head hanging. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're going back down. And we're holding. Chin is tucked, we are holding. Holy lats. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, all right. We're good. We're good. We're signing off for today. So we did, we put in what, a solid, solid 45 minutes of work this morning. How are we feeling? We see some thumbs. Wednesdays we do strength. We go by reps and we get a lot of mobility work in. So I hope everyone had a good time. To my people who stuck around for that finisher. Hope you're feeling nice and loose. Go conquer the day. Everyone's going to go undo all the work they just did by sitting in a desk chair all day in their house. So uh, we'll do it again next Wednesday. I won't be here on Friday, but I will see everyone on Facebook Live throughout the week. There will be a trivia tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I will unveil the trivia winners from the challenge top five today. So I will see everyone later. Have a great day. Thank you guys for sticking around for extra time. I appreciate it. Yep. Bye. Bye, everybody. Facebook Live, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.